Hi there, and welcome to the San Juan Islands National Monument. We're glad you're here. The BLM, that's us, we're developing a plan to manage and protect your national monument for future generations. This video will help you, help us, to develop the final plan for managing the monument. Most of you already know, but a friendly reminder to those new to the process is that the monument only applies to about 1,000 acres of very special BLM lands scattered across the archipelago in 76 locations. We already have a draft plan for multiple options for managing the land with descriptions of the impacts these management options may have on monument lands. We need your help before developing the proposed plan and final analysis. Here are four things we want you to be aware of. Number one, this draft document is available for your review for 90 days. That means we need your feedback quickly. We know this is a huge document and a ton of information to wrap your head around. So, we've created several tools to help you help us in this process. Number two, check out this cool tool. The Planning Process Primer and Guidebook is like a summary and snapshot of the much larger plan and is designed to quickly orient you to the full document. Number three, our next cool tool for you is, wait for it, wait for it, the instruction manual for commenting. This document is designed to help you fill out the comment forms in the most effective way, allowing you to accurately capture your thoughts, concerns, and ideas tied and tiered to the specific areas and uses you're interested in. Number four is the actual comment form itself. Now this is not your average comment form for any old environmental impact statement. No, no. First of all, there are 19 forms. A general form, one focused on cultural values, one focused on ecological values, and 16 focused on visitor uses at various locations within the monument. Let's show an example of how using all these tools can help you fill out a comment form for a specific place. In this case, Patos Island. You can use the guidebook to help get you familiar with this special place and learn more about the potential Patos Island management area and trails. You'll notice a spot for your name and email. Be sure to read the fine print below. We want you to be an informed citizen. Next, you get to piece together a puzzle of options which fits your vision for this special place. Let's call those puzzle pieces allowable uses. Now go ahead and mark those areas, making up your vision for Patos Island. Next up, think about trails, the ones you would like to see maintained, closed, or even new ones you would like to see developed in the future. Wow, this might be the tough part. In this next section, please let us know your rationale to help us understand why you chose these particular puzzle pieces and trails. Preferences are good, but we also want to hear about the science. Congratulations, you made it through an example for Patos Island and now we'll be able to better understand your vision, concerns, and comments for this special place. But wait, there's more. You are also welcome to provide us with comments via email or regular mail. We'll be holding public meetings to answer your questions and have BLM staff, partners, and volunteers available to help you through this process. You can also stop by our office on Lopez and we'll help you through it. Thank you very much for your help in this historic endeavor.